Hey guys, it's Deeds. Thanks for joining me on my channel again. For those of you who are new, I'm Deeds and I do some Bible journaling, but sometimes I also do process videos and tutorial videos of me practicing and getting to know mediums, like this one, for example. This is Neocolor crayons, and I don't use Neocolor crayons often. I feel very intimidated by Neocolor crayons. Similar to Gelato's, I don't know their full potential, but I'm gonna consider this another watercolor crayon process video. Today I'm doing a bookmark and a tip in using the Neo Color Crayons and the Precious In The Morning When I Rise Give Me Jesus stamp from Sweet and Sassy Stamps. This stamp is a solo stamp, but it recently became available in the shop again, and so I'll leave the link to it below for you. Watercolor has enormous potential, and so if you can, I would encourage you to get a pad of watercolor paper, a paintbrush, and then several different ways to achieve watercolor backgrounds, whether it's crayons, pencils, the paints, even distress oxides, those will all help to develop that understanding of how watercolor moves and how it can be used in your crafting and how you can develop that artistic part of you. This section of the video is the wet on wet technique. That just means that I'm watering down the watercolor paper before I add color to it, which will also be watered down. That's what people mean when you hear wet on wet. It's basically starting with wet and then adding wet to it. <laughs> I think it's that simple. So I'm gonna lay a bit of water down on the paper and it's not going to be soaking, but it's gonna be enough that when I lay the color down, the color will spread slightly and they will blend nicely together. I love playing with watercolors and one of the things that I have learned is that you start light and work toward the dark and so in this image that I'm doing of a sunrise I want to place those lighter colors like the yellows first and then after I'm done placing the yellows I'll work toward the darker colors the purple and the blue and eventually the black that will serve as my horizon on this image. The other thing that I really love about watercolor is that you work in layers. And so even though I'm somewhat hesitant about using these particular crayons, I can appreciate that I can work in layers and that I have that semblance of control as I lay down color on top of color on top of color until eventually I get that image that I'm going for. And so with this, even though I'm having to lay down a yellow and more yellow and more yellow, that gives me a bit of control over where it is that it's going and it allows me to feel that creativity, to be free with my creativity. And I love that about watercolor. The foundation of why it is that I'm using this stamp, particularly on a bookmark, is based on Psalm 143 verse 8. And it reads like this, Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you I trust. Make me know the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. I've been both inspired and convicted by this verse and others like it in the Bible, verses that talk about having Jesus in the morning, which lead me to believe that in the morning, my first thoughts, my first moves, my first actions, my first intentions should be about getting my Bible, spending time in God's Word, spending time with God in prayer, communing with Him on a very intimate level before I go about the rest of my day. There's even a hymn that talks about in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. Meaning in the morning before I do anything else, let me experience what Jesus has for me. There's an entire app <laughs> devoted to giving your first moments to the Lord called the First Five App developed by Proverbs 31 Ministries wherein you wake up, you click on the app, and you read a small snippet of devotion. It's just a few moments long, and you give that time over to the Lord before you carry on the rest of your day, which for me looks like getting up quickly, making lunches, preparing food for breakfast, making sure that kids are prepared for school, etc., etc., etc. But before all that craziness takes place, the idea is to get soaked in Jesus in some way before you do anything else. It is a struggle to want to wake up and have the first thing be getting into God's Word because my natural inclination says I need to look to the welfare of my husband and I need to look to the welfare of my children and making sure that they have everything that they need for the rest of the day. 
But if I am not filling myself up in Jesus, if I am not soaking myself in the Word of God, there is no way that I can look best to the welfare of my family. It just doesn't happen. If I am not filled, how am I to pour out? If I do not have Jesus in the forefront of my mind and on my lips, how then can I speak grace and life into the people around me? You guys, I still struggle with this. (laughs) I still struggle with waking up and making it a daily routine to saturate myself in the word of God and feed my soul in this way. So I am not preaching at you. I am in the pews with you and I am trying to learn how to engage with God on this level. We are running this race together. And so as your sister, (laughs) I'm just coming alongside of you with an encouragement about getting into God's word first and foremost at the very beginning of your day. There is something valuable about being saturated in God's word before you engage in that conversation with your spouse, before you talk to your children first thing in the morning, before you talk with that telemarketer, before you (laughs) write that email to a coworker, before you have that meeting with your employer or your colleague or a friend. Now for this part of the process, I'm not doing the wet on wet technique, I'm doing the reverse smooshing technique, (laughs) if that's a thing. I'm putting color down on the matte surface, I'm wetting it and making it nice and juicy, and then I'm smashing the watercolor paper onto the color. And I do this a couple of times with a couple of different colors. This is such a fun process, you guys. I love watercolor. (laughs) I'm gonna add some yellow to this card just to brighten it up a little bit, but I'm very careful not to mix it with the purple because you mix yellow and purple and you get some sort of weird brown color. So after that, I'll dry it, I will stamp it, and I will corner edge it. And I will make sure to link these corner edgers below because these things are fantastic for bookmarks and tip-ins. God's word is living and it is active. And so steeping ourselves in God's word changes so much about how we behave throughout the day. The Holy Spirit works with what it is that we have read as God's word does not return to him void. And in that working, our thoughts are changed. The trajectory of our day is completely changed. So there is enormous value and impact just by being in the word of God for a few moments at the beginning of each day. I'm gonna recommend a few devotions to you. I will link those below. One of them is a Charles Stanley devotional from intouchministries.org. Another one is Our Daily Bread. There are several books that are based on having little portions of scripture as well as a devotion that you can read day by day by day. Reading scripture does not have to be an elaborate hour, two hour study. It can be something simple as a verse that makes its way into your mind and down into the core of you to do what God's word has promised to do. Psalm 119 says it best and speaks to God's word in amazing ways. Verse upon verse, it talks about the benefits of learning about and remaining in God's word. Verse six, for example, you will not be put to shame. Verse nine, you will remain pure. Verse 11, it's more difficult to sin against God. Your natural inclinations are not to go with your flesh, but rather with his spirit. Verse 12, you learn of his ways and you learn of his heart. Verse 18, your eyes are opened and you can see clearly. (laughs) Verse 20, there's a longing that occurs in your heart for more of God, for more of his heart, for his ways, for his thoughts, for his directions and guidance in your life. And the list goes on and on because that's just the first 20 verses and there are 150 verses in Psalm 119. As I finish up this last portion of the process, I'm hoping that I have encouraged you to try something new. (laughs) And maybe that's with watercolor or making a tip in or a bookmark. But more importantly, and what I'm hoping the most out of this video is that I have encouraged, inspired, motivated you in some way to be in the word of God first thing in the morning, that this has in some way drawn you to that desire to build a routine wherein you seek God first. You wake up and you go to your Bible and you read and you are changed because the Holy Spirit works through the word of God and that's where the power comes. Holy, holy God. 
the way that we come to know you more and desire you more is by being in your word and by making you first priority in our day. Help us, Lord. Help us to seek you first above all things. Help us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Much love, you guys. God bless.